You are listening now to the Vero G Spotlight Radio Show with your girl, Vero G, on DTF Radio, live Wednesdays from 6 to 7 p.m. The loud mouth in the motherfucking building. BK, stand up. The champ is here. Holla, holla, hear me. Hey, what's up, guys? Back on the Vero G Spotlight Radio Show. Yeah, I'm, I'm from from the north side, but 
I chill on the south side, so I know about the south side. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Basley and all that, I know all about the yeah. south side. But right now, like, I started and I transferred to listen to Meek Mill because I can relate to his pain. Nice. Because how he could say he came from nothing, like, at 26, he, he got home at 26, talking yeah. about he could be the street, like, he could kill somebody, but I don't want to do that. She, he switched the game. He sure got home. did. And then after that, I started listening to XX. That's what got me, like, if he's going through this and he's doing it, why well, can't I do it? Help other people. Like, oh, you're not damn. alone in this world. Like, y'all got people. Like, Facts. talk, reach out, talk to people. Facts. Facts. Exactly. Wow, that's amazing. Um, you made me cry. All right, let me get back to okay. Um, uh, Actually, this next question is really good. As an artist, what advice can you tell others from your own experience? Your own experience? Like, just don't give up on your dream. Like, don't surround yourself with people who are not trying to motivate you. Like, have people motivate you and tell you, yo, you can do this, you can do that. Cause I had certain people that want to motivate me, you know, nah, nah, they hold me back, but I had to cut some people off. I had like my all my brother tell me no, let's cut these people off, these bad influence. They kept me out the street, they kept me out everywhere, kept me in the studio, and just stay home. Cause it's not it's nothing for me in these streets, like That's it's right, it's kill or get locked up. I don't wanna get killed, I wanna put my my family in this situation. Oh. So I just put myself in the studio, kept writing, 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 writing songs, writing song after song, after That's song it, after song. Man. That's it. Deep, man. This guy got me like in the morning. Yeah. Woo! Let me start. <laughs> you know what, what, what's so good about it is that you're young and you know what you want and you're thriving for what you want. That's the that's 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 so good because like you said, at any given time you could have chose to choose to, to, to go a bad route mm -hmm. or choose a different lane, but you chose to, to you know you want to do be positive and you you're on a straight focused road, you know. I gotta thank my mom for that and my brother. Oh, shout out to my brother. It's his birthday today. Oh, happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Tell, okay. tell his people to call it now. Yeah, uh, alright, so. Y'all yeah, listening, call in, call in, guys. Yes, you guys will call in. Next question, just call in. You know the vibes, man. I'll give you a 100% answer. Everything. Just call in right now. Awesome. 347 721 questions. You have a lot of information. Alright, what is your genre music? What's your style? My genre music? Yeah. I don't got a genre music. I'm just like, just rapping how I feel. Like, like people it. can relate. I don't want to have one title. Because if you have one title, people are going to think, oh, he's just a rapper. Oh, he's just that. I just want to be making music and people's not feeling alone, finding depression, stuff like that. Like, that's my title, it's like, help others. That's beautiful. I got a question actually, I'm just getting off topic. I have a feeling with down the line with the music you're doing now, like you said, it's, it's a passage to what you want to yeah. pain and suffering and then you're putting it in your songs, right? So my question to you is, down the line, would you down be like an advocate for mental illness or like people who want to stuff like that? Would yeah. you? Yeah, I would do that because I, I, cause I know the feeling, having nobody there for you. Like I would know that feeling like I'm young and you're not alone in this world, like to be honest with you, if you got, you got your mother, you got your mother, that's a blessing. I can still got my mother, I still got my dad. I love them, they help me a lot, everything they help me achieve when I'm at this moment in my that's career. That's good, that's good. It's like, I got my brother supporting me everywhere I go. Aww. It's just like, yeah, I would do anything to, I don't feel like people not should kill themselves for no reason. Because you are a purpose here, God put you in this world for a reason. To find your purpose. You just need to find it what you believe in and what you good at. Exactly. Exactly. Wow, we Actually, I wanted to ask you because actually we was talking about this in the team. Would you like to do a little little something right now? I don't put you on the spot, but you know. Freestyle. Yeah, as they call it, you know. Ah. Give us a little something, you know, a little flavor. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I was finding a lot of depression in my head, suicide thoughts going crazy in my head. I felt like killing myself, but I told the man I pray to God every day, keep my soul to save. Oh, you got back. You got the time, bro. Uh, I got this demons calling. They trying to give me a sign. I said, tell them I can't do it because the God is on my side 24 7. I'm always praying every day. Gotta stay tuned because I'm just dreaming my goal. I'm just chasing my dream. I just want to believe. Mm -hmm. I don't need this demons coming after me because mm -hmm. I got God, God, Charlie, Angel on my side every day. Got my sister on heaven night. Got all my brothers with me. I'm trying to make it to the top. My family need it all. This money doesn't deserve it all. I just want the glory. I just want to help people, others. Mm -hmm. Whoa! That was, that was our first freestyle. Yeah. First freestyle. Yeah. 
in the radio, you know. He was the very first one to do the freestyle. You made it official, man. Yeah. You're the official first one to do a freestyle on here. Thank you. That means a lot, man. You're welcome. And World Star, remember that. World Star, World Star, World Star remember that shit, all right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Definitely. Oh, let's talk about team music. Okay, so we have any upcoming shows or albums and anything uh, for music? Right now, I'm not an album coming out. Oh. I'm just doing straight singles. I got a single coming out in the summertime called My Time. It's different from. Wow. Now. It's a different because if y'all ever. I'm doing the story because of my song Fake Love and they Look. And My Time is something had people hype. And then I got a song after that coming out called Why They Going Mad At Me. Mm. It's on, yeah, y'all gotta stay tuned. It's, it's mixed with depression and hype. That's the song Mad At Me. My time is something for the hype for the summertime. Okay. The like summertime gonna be hype. Just, right. so I'm just trying to make something hype for the summertime because I don't want people to know you to be hype and depression at the same time. So it's good. Okay. So stay tuned on the summertime. The promo, the promo video dropping soon. Yeah. Okay. Um, not only your social media, and also about your clothing, where they could, they have it online or anywhere they can find it. Uh, exactly. Um, follow um, my Instagram. Follow me on Dream Gang. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, my Instagram. Follow, yeah, Dream Gang. Mm-hmm. The brand underscore brand. And my Instagram, Big Device Seventeen. Y'all can follow me. I follow back. Everything. I can hit me up. Anything. Any question. Yeah. Yeah. If y'all think I'm wrong, you can hit me up. I'm here to talk. Oh, we got a call. We got a call. Oh, we got a call. Oh, okay, quick. Okay. Before we go, uh, real quick, there's, there's questions we have to talk about. Do you have any, any feedback? Always said about a stalker. Or, uh, oh, stalkers? Yeah. Man, what I would do with stalkers, though, that was a good question. Stalkers? Okay. I would. What? Paul, oh, you're on the air. Oh, put that over. I got you. All right. All right. Who's calling? Hello, hey. Who, Hello. What's up? Who's calling? Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing, baby? How you doing? I'm doing good, baby. I'm doing good. Thank you for calling. Um, yeah, you want to talk to our, uh, say hi to our guests? We have Big Divides in the building. Yeah. Uh, Bill Bossy B as well. <laughs> what's up? <clears throat> so you got something to say? Don't be shy. Don't bite. I don't know. <laughs> you nervous? Hello? You can't hear me? Can you hear me now? Would you guys say any question for me? Yeah. Oh, you never know this. Aww. Uh, what? Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Oh, that's, that's nice. Not so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling, Melo. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. Thank you. Call again next time. Next week. Oh, was that, but that was you, right? I was like, that's not the phone here. <laughs> oh, no, you good, you good. Yeah. All right, thank you so much, Mula. Thank you. All right, so we're okay, quick with the stalker thing, because, uh, yeah, so what were you? Yeah. The stalker thing, what I would do, he was not going to stop because I'm going to be his ass. To oh, be shit. Uh oh. Yeah, because sometimes cops not going to do nothing until until something happens. So I'm gonna hear that because you start to get my family's involved in it. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna just be Ooh. honest with you. Damn. He was straightforward with it. Straightforward. He said, I'm gonna just beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna for shit. Shit. Okay. No talking, nothing. <laughs> talking about, I'm a Knicks fan, man. Ooh, I, 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 don't damn. Like what, I don't like what he did to my boy Spike Lee. Damn, that's crazy. I don't like that, man, but damn. it's crazy. Yeah, I feel you, man. I feel you. The Knicks coming up soon. Stay tuned. The uh, Knicks, next season, next season. Let's give them hope. We got them. AC, AC, let's go. <laughs> but listen, thank you so much for being on the show, Big Vibes. It was an honor. A big, big honor. Uh, Very big honor. We got you, baby. We got you. Definitely. Definitely. Definitely, man.